Hey folk, all right, another adventure today. And today's adventure is going to take us into that building right here. We got down here this crazy guy. This is Caden Gamer. Wait, Caden4024 Gamer. We're doing a little collaboration here between Boondock Charlie and Caden4024 Gamer. We're both going to be doing uh, videos. He's got the sun in his eyes right now. So, over here, there's my beautiful angel Cheyenne. She's down with us today and we're chilling. So, it's an adventure day with me and the kids. And Caden over here has his own YouTube channel, so he's going to be doing a video too. So, uh, we're going to get in there and we'll bring you with us. So, uh, we'll catch you in a little bit. Here's a thing on the history of the park. Which I'll try and get the best I can. And if you guys want to check it out and pause it and read it, go for it. All right, folks, here we are. We're inside the big old building thing here at Dinosaur State Park. This is just a big, huge chunk of rock with massive, massive dinosaur footprints in it. And I believe the name of the dinosaur that was out here was a Dilophosaurus. Check this out. These are fossilized duckbill dinosaur eggs, a hundred million years old. Pretty cool. Okay, now we are in the auditorium to watch some live animals. Let's see what this live animal is. Grizzly bear, what? All right, check it out, a wild animal. We'll check it out. See you in a minute. I'm actually going to introduce myself and my special guest here. My name is Savannah. I'm a seasonal naturalist at Dinosaur State Park, and this is my boss, Hermes. Now, Hermes runs the show here, so I'm going to tell you all about him, his species, and how he relates to dinosaurs. So, to start things off, I'm going to tell you a couple of facts about Hermes. Now, Hermes is a ball python. And you actually will not see ball pythons in Connecticut anytime soon because ball pythons are actually native to Africa. So, Hermes here was born and raised in captivity. He has lived with us for 10 years, and he is 11 years old. So, that makes Hermes about a middle-aged man. So, he'll look, yeah. So he'll live to be between 20 to 25 years old. Now Hermes is very gentle. Ball pythons are well known for being very docile and very sweet. And that's why we have him here with you all. Now, Hermes actually has a lot of cool characteristics about him. For starters, you'll notice that Hermes doesn't have any ears. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Go. Would you like Good to put it in? That's okay. You don't have to. Do you want to do it? Awesome. Wait, wait. After this little boy. It's pretty cool. You sure you don't want to check him out? Okay. It's okay. You want to just go next to him? You don't have to touch That's pretty awesome. Hmm? Would you like to? And I guess there is just a whole bunch, I don't know if you guys can see them all, but there's just a whole bunch of little tracks here. All sorts of different types, I guess. You can't find where it is. Hang on, negative or first? 
These are looking attractive to me. Hey, we got this guy over here. And uh, I guess he is a Coelophysis. An agile, eight foot long, meat eating reptile that lived 200 million years ago during the Triassic. And I guess this is what he looks like. Pretty cool. What's up, Grace? What you doing over here? What's up, sweet pea? Watch this. Look at that. Okay. All right, then. Cool stuff, buddy. Another cool spot over here with some more dinosaur tracks. Yeah, we'll check it out, buddy. And these, there's like really small tracks in here, I guess. They were made by small crocodilians. Crocodile first appeared in the fossil record in the late Triassic. Um, American crocodiles were alive even when dinosaurs were alive. And it says this one was made by a large meat-eating dinosaur, kind of like the Dilophosaurus. Pretty cool. I guess this is what it would have looked like back then, right, Grace? Yeah. Got okay. little dinosaurs hanging out, and chilling. Even look, at the, look, at size, look at the size of those crocs over there. That's probably an American alligator. Cause you they think were, so? Yeah, because American alligators were alive oh, okay. during the dinosaur time. Right on. Oh, look, that T Rex is showing too. Yep, I see him. I got him. So there's some fossil plants, fossil pollen, there's some fish fossils, oh wow, check it out, this is pretty cool, fish fossils, check out the fish fossils guys, there's fish up there. Building. And if you look back behind you, 
that silhouette, that dark silhouette, shows you where about the ground level was when he started digging. So these tracks were that far down. So he started digging and he flipped over a piece of rock and noticed a couple footprints. You guys think T-Rex left these tracks? Yeah. They're not nearly big enough. But one of the cool things you can do is if you measure the tracks and times it by five, you get the height of the dinosaur at its pit. So we're able to determine this dinosaur was about six feet tall to its pit. That also then eliminates a bunch of really small dinosaurs and really large dinosaurs. But still not enough to where we can figure out who it was. Last characteristic we used, I'll give you a hint. It's a question you never ask a lady. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Age. Age, age, okay. <laughs> so, I'm not going to say Well, that is a good one that you never ask. <laughs> the age. So many things. So, how old was the track? <laughs> now, we can't actually date the sandstone, but we can date the um, layers above and below, the um, volcanic layers. So, we determined that these tracks were made about 200 million years ago. So, that also eliminates a ton of other species that weren't around at that point in time. A million years old, about. It had the three main toes, and it was about six feet tall to the hip. That dinosaur was Dilophosaurus. Now, we cannot 100% say that Dilophosaurus is the dinosaur that left these tracks, um, but he is the best fit for what, of the dinosaurs that we know at this time. He makes the most sense. So eventually we may discover more dinosaurs. All right, here we go now. This is the man. This is the footprint of the mighty T-Rex. Oh yeah. Man, that guy is huge. Look, they, compared to my hand, <laughs> this guy would have squished me. Uh -huh, that guy would have squished me. Alright, this, this spot would have been cool. I was hoping to come and uh, let the kids make themselves a, uh, a, a casting of a dinosaur track. But I guess in the winter time, this is where it's at. There's like a print there, there, where all the, the plastics is, is covered. Is where there's a print. And uh, you would be able to, you know, get a, get a, a, a plastic um, bucket fill it with the plaster and everything and then you could have made your own footprint but it's, it's closed in the winter i guess so hopefully we could come back and maybe do it again sometime but we're gonna go check some more stuff out guys we'll, we'll see you in a bit all right so we're done at dinosaur state park and we're on our way out there to go get something to eat now what'd you guys think of it how was it grace good awesome what do you think pumpkin thumbs up right on all right, thumbs up from the Grizz too. Awesome. All right, well, what we're going to have here is we're going to have a few clips from uh, my, my phone. We're going to have a few clips from uh, the camera that mostly Cheyenne did. And um, there's going to be a collaboration, like I said earlier, between uh, Boondock Charlie and Caden4024 Gamer. So he's going to have a video on his channel. I'm going to have a video on my channel. And uh, we got Grizzly Bear Productions over here. And we're going to be challenging. Challenging? What are we challenging? Challenging which video is the best. Oh, all right. Watch it's more likes. Mm. And subscribers and views. Well, you look better than me. You might get the likes. Oof. Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to get out of here. We're going to get something to eat. And we'll check back in with you later.